Hi Libra, welcome to your week ahead Taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. I just want to say uh, a massive thank you so much for your patience. I know I did say that there were lots of changes coming from the, coming to the channel and I really do stand by that. I promise you I've got so much good stuff in store for you. I just can't get to it at this moment in time because there's a lot going on behind the camera as well. So thank you so much for your patience stick with me I promise you you're gonna love the new stuff that I bring for you um, and yeah just stay tuned all right so with that said I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love light peace prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help us all on our paths to our or you on your path to your highest vibrational good so for your key to the week this week if you are a continued subby, you know Rafi loves you. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share. If you should so choose and this resonates, hit that subscribe button. So your key to the week is the sun card. You guys need to save some of the good luck for everybody else. Okay, right? So it looks like Libra is going through a little bit of a revival at the moment. You've had some really good weeks recently. So remember when the sun card shows up as the key to the week, it usually means that whatever challenges you're gonna face this week, right? Because life is gonna life, but whatever challenges you face this week, not only are they gonna be uh, passing you by very quickly, but they won't be anywhere near as bad as they could have been. And also whatever blessings cross your path over the course of this week ahead it basically means that they are enhanced in some way shape or form so love this for you in your um wow okay right so for your actions and options straight away you've got the tower card so this actually provides you with the protection that you need to make a big change or to break something right so let's say you decide you know what i really want to move so i'm going to break my lease and usually that comes with lots of penalties and all the rest of it for money and resources and all of that good stuff. Um, this actually suggests that you can get out of this quite uh, like you might be able to get out of a contract or something of that nature uh, a lot easier than you would have usually and maybe you get the you know the penalty fee waived or something along those lines now remember the tower card is disruptive by its very nature and this is in your actions and options this is about what you do so it means that in some way shape or form you this week are upset in the apple cart but it's like people don't really seem to mind maybe it's because you're saying the thing that everybody else is thinking right now that being said, in terms of the options that are available to you, well, basically it's all change all the time. Um, so this is gonna be a very dynamic week. Now, one thing that I do wanna talk about here, uh, and I touch wood, I really hope that I'm wrong on this front. I wouldn't be surprised this week if we see um, a wildfire of some sort like uh you know like an a, a big you know like when they catch and then it goes on for like days etc i really hope i'm wrong on this front um but it is a feeling that i have and it's quite a strong one um i would also say um i don't know why because there's nothing in this signature that suggests the place that i'm about to talk about um, but there's, I don't know why, I feel like there's going to be something going on in China uh, that involves like a big fire and an, an in potentially an industrial fire of some sort. Anyway, that's a, an intuitive moment, all right, for a, 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 that's Tarot interrupting to talk about world events. For your communications and conversations you've got the nine of wands okay so look the nine of wands is really about you know it can be about our ptsd it can be about well you know where we're a little bit a little bit battered and bruised from the the uh from the journey that we've been on and with the sun card here this is about you accepting how you feel about something that has felt like a loss or maybe you're being really honest with yourself about how something could have gone or how something would have gone if it was going your your preferred way uh, the other thing is the nine of wands it can be a, you know and I talk about PTSD it can be sometimes that we look back over our journey and we're like wow you know what that really cost me now you've got this with the tower card so I do want to say when it comes to your career communications when it comes to communications in general you do have the protection of the Sun card you've got a buffer there but I will say 
One way that this potentially shows up is you end up having a conversation this week that you really didn't expect to have and because of the subject material or whatever it is that you're talking about there is potentially more casualties of this conversation than you had hoped for, right? It could also be that you're revealing something that for you you've held on to that's been like a secret of some sort and when it comes out it's like there are a lot of people with you know question mark faces. Now that's just one way that we could see this. Another way that this could show up, so for those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, this could be uh, the institution that you go to could be having some sort of, uh, you know, maybe some sort of negative press or, you know, bad uh, publicity or whatnot. That's very possible. For those of you that are employed by somebody else, please watch yourself at work, especially like, the nine of wands is usually physical bumps and bruises etc but because it's in your communication sector this could be a week where you put your foot in it now as i said you are likely to be saying the thing that everybody is thinking that you know it is what it is but just make sure i mean even you've got the sun card here so you've got like i say you've got protection you've got a buffer but just make sure that whatever you are saying in the workplace you are going to be able to recover from right when it comes to those of you that are business owners entrepreneurs solopreneurs people that work for themselves a misunderstanding this week could potentially it won't lose you a client but it will rattle a client and this might be, and it happens every so often, there are times, right, as a business owner, where you have to get a little bit firm with your clients and say to them, hey, listen, you know what? I don't work for you, right? I work for me. And this relationship, this working professional relationship is gonna be built on trust and uh, integrity and also mutual respect or it's not going forward. Uh, and I've said that, you know, I say this to my students all the time, do not be afraid to fire a client if you have to. This week, if you have to do that, I will say don't worry too much about it because you will be replacing them fairly soon. If you're retired and no uh, longer working for any reason, there are some ripples this week in the familial ties that are likely to show up. And I think this is because you are finally ready to voice your opinion where it's like, you know what, I've been carrying you or saving you for X amounts of time, you know, weeks, months, years, etc., and I'm not doing it anymore. It's like you're calling something out. And I feel like a lot of people in your family might be like, you know what, we've just been waiting for you to say it, well done. For your love and relations, you've got the um, the temperance card, right? So there's potentially some healing coming into the relationship, but look at this, right? Not before a very cathartic conversation. So if you're partnered, married, or in a long-term commitment, this is some big conversation that leads to profound healing, but it's gonna be a lot of, um, you know, yeah, it's just gonna be a lot of, like whatever comes up, it will be deeply healing, but this is like one of those conversations that's like akin to sucking the pus out, right? You know, you've got to suck the poison out in order for the wound to heal. This is very much that kind of conversation this week. And because the sun card is here, you, it's like you can do all of this, right? So even though this spread is not necessarily easy, that sun card is lightening it. It's like the things that you, if you'd have tried this any other week, it might not have gone so well, right? Now, for those of you that are single and looking, it's possible that you could be meeting or connecting with somebody who has been through a rehab journey. Maybe you meet somebody and you're like, oh my gosh, this person is amazing. They've got all their stuff together. You know, they've really got their shit together. And you know, you're looking at them and you're feeling a certain way. And then, you know, through having conversations with them, you come to realize this person is an ex addict or, uh, you know, of any of the vices that they could have had or whatever. And you're like, holy crap, I, you know, I really wasn't expecting that. But look at this, right? Yes, okay. Maybe Maybe this learning this shocks you but it's in the light of day right there's no nasty surprises for you to learn like they are being 100% upfront with you about who they are what their past is and where they come from so I love this for your money and materials you have the page of pentacles look at this a new idea, endeavor, or project, especially for those of you that have a side hustle, this won't be your main job. It will be something that you're planning to do on the side or some project that you're working on that feeds directly into your work. This week, you could see like maybe the first payout or just the first little trickle of what that tsunami of money is that's coming in for you, which I absolutely love. There's money on these cards, right? And this is long money as well. Remember the page of pentacles 
cycles is kind of like a seed. So whatever it is, it's, it starts small, it starts now, right? But it's gonna grow over time, so love that. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, the Page of Pentacles with the Sun card, this is you learning what the issue is or what issue you have had when it comes to your physical health and vitality. So if you've had a problem with the Tower card and the Nine of Wands here, I would say like, especially if you've had back problems with the Page of Pentacles and the Temperance card, it looks like you're seeing a specialist this week of some sort, maybe a specialist, maybe somebody who's... Um, What's the, the word that I'm looking for? It's like someone whose title is their job sort of thing. Now, yeah, you could say that for everybody, but what I mean is like, you know, like a dermatologist, right? Like they are a specialist, but they're in, in like a very specific field. So you could be gaining some really powerful insight this week that helps you understand what the problem or the issue is. When it comes to those of you, uh, sorry, when it comes to your home and environment, the Page of Pentacles, something about the home is being shifted, changed, or made new this week. And the money that you need, whether this is for renovations or even a home move, the money that you need is available to you this week. I think it's like resources coming to you that you didn't expect. So this could be great. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.